Hi! So, I'm Brie Olson, and I am no longer a porn star myself. Um, however, I was in the industry for six years, and I made quite a career out of it. So, I am going to explain the ins and outs of porn. Get it? I got into the industry. I was very fortunate. Um, you, nothing bad ever happened to me. Um, never ran into any drugs or pimps or anything like that. I was 19. I was a pre-med student at a satellite school at Purdue University called IPFW here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I um, was working full-time as a telemarketer as well. I was going to school full-time. Uh, had been going to college ever since I was 17, graduated when I was 17 from high school, all that. I had no idea about the adult industry. I had no nothing to do with it. Um, I had never been a stripper. I had never done any of that. In fact, about, oh crap, they're hissing at each other. Oh shit, hold on. Are we gonna see a cat fight? No, a literal cat fight. Um, so, it's okay, Dr. Sniffles and Nitty Puff. See, I'm, I have a, a new job. It's being a mom of two cats. I was doing, doing the whole telemarketing school thing, you know, like, okay, this is what you do in Indiana, a typical lifestyle. Never, as I said, strip. I was curious about, I was always very curious about the industry. Um... I always watched porn, loved it, like who doesn't like porn, right? And I was like watching these people in video and I'm like, how do I get from where I am right now to be one of those people on screen? I didn't know anything about it, like many of you watching this right now, you probably don't know a lot about how porn actually works. You probably think like, it's just like one huge party and everyone gets together and has sex, or you may think like me, like, this is done in someone's basement and there's like one like greasy fat hairy camera guy and like two people going at it and he's just videotaping them like it's nothing like that at all regardless if it was like a fat hairy guy filming it anyways I still wanted to try it I was I would have done the first one for free I had no idea so anyways I went to this website called sexyjobs.com um, and, well, I actually, I typed in porn applications because I'm like, is there an application for this? And then this website came up, sexyjobs.com. So I posted a picture up of me and said, I want to do porn. I finally found someone. I ended up going out on my first plane ride ever. I had never even been on a plane before. Um, left Indiana, went to California, um, left my small town of Fort Wayne finally. So then I got an agent and um, in L.A., um, Fox Modeling, and Chris, which is now my best friend as well, and uh, he still, like, manages a lot of my stuff that I do because now since I don't do porn, everyone's like, well, what are you doing? Well, I've been hosting a lot of events, things of that nature. I've been going to acting classes and going to auditions and I've got a few small parts so far, nothing huge, but um, you know, working on stuff. And uh, oh my gosh, Nettie Puff and Dr. Sniffles are being so hilarious right now. Hold on, let me show you. They're totally going after each other. This is the first time I ever actually seen them touch each other and not get um So going after doctors. <laughs> and um, you have your agent, and that's the best thing to do. They know um, ev basically everyone in the industry, um, and plus they can get you like little mainstream parts too. Like I was on Keeping Up with the Kardashians and um, Tosh.0. Chris from Fox Modeling, he's really great because he's just really focuses on all of his girls and really just has their best interest in mind and um, he just really cares so that's nice to have. Basically what you do is if you're from out of town like I was saying I go stay at Chris's house and it's like a modeling house or whatever and other agents the large agents have the same thing they have basically a house where the girls stay and you get your room and everything you get your own bathroom you get your own bedroom and you 
uh, they get you work. They say, okay, well, this is the scene that you have. It's called a scene, you know, sex scene, but they don't say they just say scene. So um, this is just the lingo of porn. So you have your scene, and then they tell you what type of scene that you have. And before you start in the industry, you say what you're comfortable with doing and what you're not comfortable with doing. Like, I was comfortable with doing basically everything across the board. I mean, I literally would have done basically anything, but Chris is the one that stepped in and said, you know, like, let's hold back. Don't do everything. Like, just do the basics. Like, the typical things are boy-girl, which they shorten it up to, this This is the most popular. Boy-girl is the most popular. Girl-girl. There's girls that actually won't do girl-girl, even though you would think that that would be nicer for them to be seen as doing. Some girls only do girl-girl. Um, they don't get very much work. And then we have um, you know, the anal, interracial, like I said, um, and then it gets into where you do, um, two guys at once, and so that's called a boy-boy girl, if you do two guys at once, and it's really unclear, you know, you would think that it would be clear to me by now when it's more than, um, how many guys does it take to make a gangbang, but... I thought the three guys, I thought if it's more than two, it's a gangbang. But people argue about it all the time in the industry. So everyone has their own opinion about it. Whatever you want to consider gangbang, let it be a gangbang. Fine. I mean, you could do one-on-one -on -one freaking gangbang. I do gangbangs with my dildos all day.